In today's video, I'm going to show you the top 10 reasons why I think StockRover is the best stock screening research and portfolio management platform available for US-focused investors. These are the 10 biggest reasons why I use StockRover every day to manage my stock and ETF investments. In this top 10, I'll show you powerful watch lists and screeners, insights and real-time research reports, and advanced criteria for building and backtesting your system, and so much more, but I don't want to spoil the surprise. I'm Barry Moore, a certified financial technical analyst, stock market strategist, and founder of liberatedstocktrader.com, a company that has trained thousands of people in investing and trading so they can make better investing decisions. I like Stock Rover so much, I have partnered with them and I've created six original dividend and value investing strategies for their platform. I even created the Liberated Stock Trader Beat the Market Growth Strategy, which is fully integrated into Stock Rover. Stock Rover is not for traders, it's for investors. So if you are an income, value or growth investor, this video will help you understand why I rate Stock Rover so highly. So let's get started. Number one, the really great dashboard. As soon as you log into Stock Rover, you will be presented with the dashboard. This dashboard is actually extremely configurable. For example, the first thing I see is I'm measuring seven of 11 of my portfolios that I have in place. I can see the performance of the Dow Jones Industrial Averages, the SP500 and the NASDAQ. Here I can also see my portfolio performance one year. I can change that to one month, five years, etc. And these are the portfolios that I've built based on the screening capabilities of Stock Rover. So, for example, here are my actual portfolios and test portfolios, etc. So I can see that performance very easily at a glance. I can see the market movers, most actives, gainers and losers, and interestingly here, the sector performance. So which sectors are doing the best in the market, whether one year, five days, five years, etc. So I can customize this exactly how I want to see it. I can see the market news. I can select the different news feeds and sources, and there's a lot of news sources that can be viewed in a very easy and intuitive way with Stock Rover. Next, I can look at portfolio chart, and here's where the power of Stock Rover really comes in. So for example, I can take a look at any of my portfolios, or all of them, and compare them against the S&P 500, for example. I can select which benchmarks I wanna compare my portfolio performance against, and I can select which portfolios that I wanna list here. My actual portfolios, my beat the market portfolio, very important to me, so I can see performance day to day, year to year, and the value of my portfolios over time, which is great. I can see year to day, year one, year two, etc. So I can see also my current holdings and their performance over any particular time period. Finally, I get this really excellent earnings calendar. So I can look at the earnings calendar, I can see instantly what earnings are happening this month. So I can see the entire universe of holdings. I only want my beat the market portfolio earnings to be displayed. So I hold currently 35 stocks in my beat the market growth strategy and I only want to see the earnings calendar for my particular portfolio that I'm interested in. Number two, the huge selection of watch lists and inbuilt screeners that you can select and import directly to get you up and running really quickly. We simply go to Stock Rover, we click on Library, and I can have a look at all the screeners that are available to me. For example, here you see the Liberated Stock Trader Beat the Market screener that's built in with two years of back testing that you can have a look at. And there are many different strategies and approaches you can use. So you can see here the Stock Rover team have put in a lot of different strategies that can get you up and running depending on what approach to the market you want to take. In addition to the excellent set of screeners, you can import directly portfolios. This I really like. The team over at Stock Rover have curated a set of portfolios that can get you started and get your mind working on the types of stocks you want to buy. These are some famous investors. Seth Klarman, David Tepper, David Einhorn, Bruce Berkowitz, Bill Nigren, even Bill Gates's portfolio. So they've gone through worked out what stocks are in those portfolios and imported them for you. So I could import, for example, David Tepper's top 25 
stocks and bang import this into the portfolio and i have it easily available for me so there's some great stuff to get you started immediately so for example i've imported the liberated stock trader beat the market screener here you can see the criteria that's involved here and i can see a list of the companies that are down to that selection i can then jump over to the screen table and get really detailed in terms of the performance of those stocks in the last one two years margin of safety yearly eps etc and i can then chart the performance of that portfolio against the s p 500. number three the insights and research reports i found a stock that i like the look of let's say it's acm research over here we can just expand on the insights panel or i can go to a dedicated full screen for insights panel i just click here and i have the overall view of the entire company's performance and track record so i can see description of the company i can see the profile which industry sector the scores the proprietary scoring from stock rover that takes into account the value of the stock the growth of the stock the financial quality of the company the sentiment of the investors and the petrosky and atman z scores which are incredibly insightful we can see analyst estimates and we can see it's a strong buy and we can see the valuation and the return versus the benchmarks over the previous years as you can see being part of the beat the market screener this has an excellent track record of beating the s p 500. not only that what is excellent is the warning system within stock rover so taking into consideration the entire financials of the company we can click on warnings here and stock rover generates some red flags that may present a risk if you invest in this stock so we can see here there's a dilution of shares there's a high short percent so short of float 6.6 percent gap earnings versus pro forma and a low petrosky f score these are excellent you can read through and learn as you go this is a great way to minimize your risk on any particular stock that you're investigating finally in this section i want to show you what is called the research report so if you have research reports as part of your subscription you can simply click on research report and stock rover will generate a real-time research report for you so akin to what may be produced by humans by morningstar analysts for example you get a machine driven agnostic research report that shows you everything analyst consensus quantitative scores valuation summary so this stock versus the industry versus the s p 500 price earnings all these all these different ratios a fascinating insight and powerful feature of stock rover number four the screening and the 10-year historical database so i'm going to create a screener here to demonstrate to you the type of database that stock rover enables so here i'm creating a screener i want to add criteria here i can see a huge selection of financial metrics everything you could possibly wish for is essentially included with the screening and research tool the key magic ingredient is the database and boy is this a great database there are over 650 different selectable metrics and 228 of those metrics contain 10 years of historical data that historical data it can be selected as trailing 12 months or historical calendar year some of my favorite ratios are the margin of safety so if you want to create a value strategy you can select margin of safety and i want the margin of safety to be more than 20 percent of course margin of safety is key to warren buffett's value investing strategy so i've selected a margin of safety more than 20 percent and i have 397 stocks that meet that criteria so let's say now i want to see the analyst consensus rating i can add criteria here i can look at analyst ratings and consensus rating currently one is a strong buy so i'm going to go for less than two which is essentially one so all stocks that are analyst rated a strong buy that are undervalued and here we see it instantly updates i've got 213 stocks i can take a closer look at of course you can add all sorts of additional financial measures in here and then i simply click save and i'm going to name this my value and ratings screener and instantly i'll be able to take a look at that 
Here is the screener, here's the passing stocks, and I want to run this in a table, and I can see these stocks performance and drill down and do some insights. So an excellent historical database that can be used to find good stocks. Number five, the equation editor and backtesting. So I'm going to get really geeky now. So let's take a look at the my value and rating screener that I just created. I can right click here and select update screener. This is going to take me to the screener view and I want to do some really fancy screening. So I'm going to add a free form equation. Now I can start to take advantage of the 10 year historical database. So I want to add here, I want to take a look at and add to my screener that I want to see EPS growth this year greater than last year. So I've double clicked here per share EPS. EPS now is greater than EPS. And I can select here and say EPS one calendar year ago. Now, of course, you can see here that it goes back 10 years. So this enables back testing. So I can choose on any criteria. I can select eight years ago, five years ago and do some comparison and then run the screener in a chart and set the chart dates back which enables me to see how that stock performed let's say seven years ago when its eps increased by 20 30 percent this enables screening back testing in a really intelligent way so i want to narrow down those companies that have value good analyst ratings and have increases in earnings per share okay let's see what my stock portfolio looks like now now i have only of an eight thousand plus stocks I have 164 stocks that I can drill down to. So I'm going to click save here and let's take a look. Number six, index comparison. This is a feature I really love. I can take a look at any screen. So let's say, let's take a look at dividend aristocrats. So these are companies that are continue to grow over 10 years, over 20 years, their dividend payouts. They grow those and they're called dividend aristocrats. But does it pay to invest in dividend aristocrats? So this is a list of the companies. We have 250 different companies in this particular stock screener. Now what I can do is I have here the S&P 500. I can right click here and compare and chart. And this is going to give me a chart of the dividend aristocrats versus the S&P 500. So if we take a five year, a long term look at dividend aristocrats. So we can select, I'm going to compare this benchmark, the S&P 500 versus the dividend aristocrats. So we can see over five years, the S&P 500 has returned 121% and the dividend aristocrats has returned 123.3%. So very similar returns over the last five years. But I'd be interested, how has the NASDAQ done compared to the dividend aristocrats? And of course, the NASDAQ has significantly outperformed the dividend aristocrats and the S&P 500 over the last five years by 195% versus 121%. This index comparison feature is excellent. Number seven, the improved charting. What's really nice about the newest version of Stock Rover is they have improved the charts. So here we can see our dividend aristocrats, S&P 500, the NASDAQ, and I can select now, many more different technical aspects that I want to look at. So I could add a simple moving average, relative strength index, OBV, on balance volume, or money flow, for example, to any of these indices. I can, of course, jump out of the indices view. Let us take a look at a stock, analog devices, as part of my screener here. And I'm going to remove the indices and start plotting some technicals and fundamentals. Okay, relative strength index plotted. So we have the relative strength index here, but I also wanna have a look at some fundamentals. So I can actually plot fundamentals onto the chart. So let's have a look. I wanna see earnings. So now I can see EPS, enterprise value uh, versus EBITDA, earnings yield, net cash per share. And I can start to chart all of these different fundamental metrics. I can also chart events. So I want to see dividends. So we can see here the dividend payouts, dividend per share and splits. And we can configure the settings. So I want to see price percent. I want to see candlesticks on a daily, weekly, monthly basis. For a stock screener, very good 
charting. Number eight, the portfolio analytics. So as you establish portfolios and do your investing, you can actually connect Stock Rover directly to any broker. These brokers then will feed in your trades with your broker into Stock Rover, and then you can perform portfolio analytics. You can, of course, manually create your portfolio. So let's take a look at the Beat the Market portfolio for 2021 here. And I can see the stocks that are there. So let's analyze that portfolio. First of all, let's see the value of the portfolio over time. So we're looking at a two year period. We can see here it's increased from this much to this much. And we start to get some input on the period rate of return, the annual rate of return appreciation. So you can see the analytics that's going into this. Let's take a look at the risk reward on this portfolio. So here you can see risk adjusted returns versus the S&P 500, the period rate of return and the beta for this portfolio structure. And we can take a look at the holding details, what stocks are in the portfolio, the start and value, the change, the ROI, the period rate of return. And you can see here, I could see which my best performing stocks are over the period. And we can see the actual percent total return. What's nice here is if I go back to portfolio, I can do some correlation. So I click correlation here, and this provides me a correlation table, which can show how correlated each of the stocks are. So for some more advanced portfolio management, this is a very nice tool that you can use. Finally, we can go over here and I can see the future income. So if I'm an income investor and create a dividend portfolio, I can, for example, see what the how much I will earn in dividends in the next 12 months. So I can click here, future income. And I can see here at a summary, summary level how much income I will earn from these stocks, how much that income will be uh, in this year and next year and per quarter. And we can have a look at portfolio level. So the overall portfolio or at holdings level. Number nine, the new system. So I can simply select here portfolios, Berkshire Hathaway Holdings. Now I can see the news for my Berkshire Hathaway portfolio from Benzinga News and Yahoo News. And I can scroll through and see what news events are occurring. Also, what's really nice, I can click on the summary and I get a visual summary of my portfolio. So the top five movers in this portfolio, the worst performers and the display of the breakdown of the portfolio. So I can see, for example, in Berkshire Hathaway's holdings that 40% of their portfolio is in technology, financial services, consumer defensive, healthcare, consumer cyclical, etc. So that's really nice. So we have news and a summary of the overall portfolio. Number 10, pricing. Stock Rover starts at free, which is excellent. You can actually get started and it will cost you nothing. And you get coverage of eight and a half thousand stocks. You have portfolio management, and many of the things that I've gone through here with you. you. There are also the premium plans. I personally have premium plus, and this is such a low cost. They're currently running a sale with quite a discount, but with or without the discount, this is great value for money. It's a lot less than any other major stock screening software out there on the market today. So that's it for the top 10. What do you think? Agree, disagree? Let me know in the comments below what your favorite features of Stock Rover are. Well, what do you think of the platform? Is it the right choice for you? Did I miss anything? Let me know in the comments below. Also, if you like the video, don't forget to hit the like button. It'll really help the channel out. And click subscribe if you want to be notified about future stock investing lessons, strategies, and software videos.